Greetings, Mighty Omegians. As the title of the video suggests, recently a new series of macros for Mighty Omega has been released. Previously, the only real macro giants that have existed have been both Vives and Senya, but with the rise of this new macro, Kyoko's macro, macros have become a lot more accessible. Senya has always been a paid premium macro that has never changed, but in the past, Vives, you know, being a free macro, it was available to everyone, and for anyone that still has access to older versions of these macros, that is still true. But Vives macros were noticeably less consistent compared to premium macros like Senya's. Though recently, Vives macros have gone the same route as Senya, becoming premium paid macro services, making it so that nobody has access to free macros. During this dark age of macro accessibility where there were no free macros, Kyoko's macro rose to popularity to fill the need of a new free macro. Kyoko saw a need for a free macro and using older versions of Vives' macro, pulling the script from the AHK file the macro operates from, which was at the time riddled with bugs, he was able to rescript the macro, making it completely free of bugs, and then he released it for free. This wouldn't be the first macro of this quality to release, but it is the first macro of this quality to release for free. And after the creation of this macro, Kyoko talked to Vives about the macro itself and essentially got permission to distribute this macro so long as he does so for free. Because of this clause, Kyoko's macro will never have the same occurrence as Vives' macro where it suddenly goes premium and nobody can no longer use it. This makes the Kyoko's macro the most reliable macro among the three for as long as it can exist. Compared to the other ones, it is free with no drawbacks whatsoever. As a person who avidly uses Senya's macro and has admittingly spent quite a large amount of money on those macros, I can definitely say that I have a good understanding of the quality of Senya's macros, and as I've said in the past, Senya's quality is pretty airtight. I can't say that I've had issues with Senya's macro, and when there are issues, and they are few, they are quickly patched either the next day or the day of. Quality is never a concern, so Senya is the golden standard of what a macro should strive to be. Though the only thing stopping Senya's macro from being the most popular macro in the game is the fact that it is a paid macro. Because of this, old Vives macros were very accessible in comparison, although with the existence of Kyoko's macro, you get an experience that is both as accessible as Vives' macros used to be, with the added quality that... Honestly, I, c I can say it's as good as Senya's macro in terms of quality. It's pretty airtight with not that many errors. To top it all off, I did ask Kyoko myself if he was going to update the macro with quality of life updates and bug fixes comparable to the other developers, and he said he intends to do exactly that. So this will be getting updates frequently to fix things and just overall improve the macro. Taking in mind all those factors, in my humble opinion, I believe that Kyoko's macro may be the best of the three for having all of those benefits. Now disregarding that entire rant of me glazing Kyoko completely, right, I'm going to walk you guys through the process of installing this macro, and if you've installed a Vives macro, this is going to be a very familiar process. Join the Kyoko's macro discord server, I've linked it in the description of this video. Go to the Kyoko Macro channel. Click the WinRAR link. Install the WinRAR setup application. Run it and install WinRAR. Go back to the channel and go to the GitHub link. Click on the green code button and click download zip. Once the file has installed, extract it using WinRAR. Once you've done this, go to the Auto Hotkey website, I'll link that in the description as well. Install Auto Hotkey. Using Auto Hotkey, open the extracted application from GitHub.
Now when you open this macro for the first time, it's going to prompt you to set up a webhook. This is optional, but let me show you how to do that part as well. If you don't have a webhook URL in Discord that you have access to, you'll have to make one. To do this, find a channel where you want the macro to ping you. Most likely a bot commands channel or a dedicated webhook channel. Right click the channel and click edit channel. Click integrations. Click create webhook and click new webhook. Click on the newly created webhook and copy the webhook URL and paste that into the macro prompt. It will prompt you for your Discord ID. To get this, go to your Discord settings, go to advanced in the app settings section, enable developer mode, go back to the user settings section of your settings and go to my account at the very top. Click the three dots next to your username and click copy user ID. Paste that ID into the macro prompt. Once you've done that, ensure that the macro is pinging you properly and go ahead and use it like you would any other macro. Once you do this process, you shouldn't need any other macro and you'll only need to repeat a fraction of this process, downloading updates of the macro from GitHub, which you will find in Kyoko's Discord server, and those will replace your old one. I'd also like to just thank Kyoko for endorsing the video. I asked him if I could make this video and he supported it all the way through. And also for answering all my questions I had for him. I did need to ask him a few questions just to make sure I understood everything. And I'd also, of course, like to thank him for assisting my Yomega in becoming a more accessible and fun experience for everyone who plays it. That is something that I personally strive for and he's helping a ton in that process. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to give it a like and or subscribe, it would help the channel tremendously. Besides that, enjoy your macro, thanks for watching, and have a good one.